Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Surrender and let go of the past. I love this card. Whatever life takes away from you, let it go. When you surrender and let go of the past, you allow yourself to be fully alive in the moment. Letting go of the past means that you can enjoy the dream that is happening right here, right now. Yesterday's gone. Tomorrow's not here. What are you doing right now? Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 39. NASDAQ up four, S&P's up two, gold contract up four dollars and ten cents, trading at one thousand two fifty eight an ounce. Silver up thirteen cents, eighteen dollars and thirty two cents an ounce. Platinum up three bucks, nine sixty an ounce. Copper is up a penny and a half at two sixty one a pound. Light sweet crude up seventy nine cents, fifty one dollars and three cents a barrel. We're gonna have the API numbers coming out at four thirty tonight. We're gonna have the uh, oil numbers, the supply numbers at 10.30 tomorrow morning, but oil looks like it wants higher price. XLE also looks like it wants higher price. 10-year note, down three ticks, 124.30. 30-year bond down seven ticks, 151.17. Both the 10 and the 30-year folks are confirmed ABC structures on the way up. They took their B point out yesterday, have the volume behind the move. Uh, what's going to be intriguing here is that if you, in fact, do get that price projection, that is also going to blow away because we are right at the top of the consolidation of the last four months. So what does that equal? That equals higher price, lower yield. And if we go take a look at that 10-year uh, out here right now, the 10-year is yielding 2.375. Not bad. The high for the year right now is 2.626. King dollar. What do you have with king dollar out here? King dollar. Actually, gold market. Let's go to the gold market. So what do we have with the gold market? Gold market out here. This baby looks like it's going to actually go up into and try to take out the swing point at 1264. 50, I believe that's the number. Let's see what this number is. It's 1264.20. So... What we did out here today is this. You did 151,000 contracts. We got to 1263.70. Now that's a nice way to come into a swing point. Now you're gonna need more volume. You need a couple hundred thousand shares, but we did get a slight expansion of volume from yesterday. Yesterday we ended up doing 142,000, we did 151. It's gonna need a couple hundred thousand to get up and over this 1264. You get up over that number, you're going to be up at 1347, 1333 in about a heartbeat, which is a monster move. But we've been building cars for a long period of time. The silver market, the silver market hasn't backed off. In fact, what the silver market has shown is that the silver market has actually shown more strength than the gold market. And that is no doubt the psycho market. I mean, this thing gets either croaked or goes to the moon at about two seconds flat. Silver's trading at $18.32. And, you know, you have a swing out there at 1854, but it looks to me that it's going to blow that swing away and wants to get up into this $19 area back from November 9th. And what's going to be intriguing about that, of course, is that that's where the downdraft started in the metals, the election. You know, silver went from $19 back down to 15 And if you want to see, you know, how this whole market is moving out, well, guess what? Meaning currencies, uh, metals, all of the above. Well, if you remember the peso... Um, you know, the, the folks in Mexico were worrying, markets were worrying, the peso went from 18 pesos to one U.S. dollar. That shot up to 22 to one U.S. dollar. That's a 15% weakening. Well, guess what? It's right back to 18, uh, 82. So the peso and folks investing in Mexico are not worrying anymore. And the correlation, of course, is going to be interesting to see how the metals do, and then now let's go over to the good old U.S. dollar, because the U.S. dollar is doing the exact same type of move. Uh, what you have in the uh, U.S. dollar is this. Uh, U.S. dollar is at 100.455. This has been trying to get into the downdraft from March 15th for a couple of weeks. Hasn't been able to do it. Today you had volume of 15,000. Uh, 800, you're going to 47,000. Uh, we go back to the dollar index on 
November 7th, it was at 96.99, ran all the way up to 103, made a high, and on December 20th, ran right back down to 98.67. In fact, that was a confirmed ABC structure on the way down. It didn't finish it off. That number, that confirmed number, was a 97.99 number. So what I do expect we're going to see is you're going to expect more selling inside the U.S. dollar. We go over until we take a look at the euro. Of course, the euro is just the opposite. We take a look at the euro getting stronger. Uh, euro right now is trading at 106. Last high in the euro, which it took its swing point out, was 109. I expect you're going to see get it up into that area. More than likely, the euro wants to go to 111. And the yen, and as we're doing the program out here, this yen will continue to move. Uh, the yen last night uh, got down to 11027. Right now, we're at 110.74. That correlation was pretty intense looking at the Nikkei because the Nikkei took it on the chin last night. That was down $1.72. And you had the Nikkei down on volume. So what you're going to have tonight is this. The Nikkei has been in a consolidation since December 3rd. The way that it's looking right now, it's looking like this Nikkei is going to blow out this consolidation tonight. Uh, we came down last night with 1.4 billion shares. You're going into 1.2 billion from January 18th. That number is, 60, is 18,650. Last night we hit 18,703. If that's what we get, if that blows it out tonight, guess what? Nikkei will be back down to 17,427. What that would also be saying is that the yen would be getting dramatically stronger. And as the yen gets dramatically stronger, what you would see is that the metals market would get dramatically stronger, meaning silver and gold, because there's an inverse relationship as to where the yen goes versus where the gold market and the silver market is going. If we take a look at the XAU and the HUI, XAU right now, oh, this is a beautiful thing. XAU got over its highs, so I can't wait to get the volume now. XAU just took out a swing point of 85.95. We're up 98 cents. Now, I won't get that to 8 o'clock tonight. The Gold Bugs Index, this is right at its highs, okay? So the Gold Bugs Index is up 242, trading out at 204.43. That swing point up there is 205.42. You stay right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Be right back, folks.